It's quite obvious that AI will have a broad impact on the economy. What sectors will stand most disrupted by the end of this decade? I'm really excited about applications to customer service. I'm very excited about media and entertainment. From an enterprise perspective, I think we'll see a lot of gains on the consulting side, and then also law. Access to GPUs is a major bottleneck to AI adoption today. What needs to happen to bring costs down? What we have seen is algorithmic improvements for the fundamental transformer model have led to dramatic reductions in cost, even when you're holding the GPU supply constant. And so for some of the leading AI models, we've seen a thousand times reduction just in the last eight or nine months in the cost for the end user. The chip market is dominated by a few players. Uh, do you see any challenges coming up? The GPU market, I think we can split it into two. There's the hardware itself, the actual silicon, the semis, and all of that. And then there's the software layer that's built on top of this hardware. I think from one perspective, in the hardware at least, there's lots of great competition. I think where we see true concentration is in the software layer right above the hardware. What innovations are you excited about over the next 24 months? The next leap will come when we include video, audio, PDFs, images. There's all this sort of multimodal data, time series in finance. All of that can be included in the training data itself. It leads to amazing creative applications, amazing enterprise applications. So one example, just the other day, I had a PDF. You know, it was 40 pages long. I didn't want to read through the whole thing. So I was able to shuttle it into a multimodal AI that I have and ask questions. And that, I think, will just continue to improve over time. So how will the AI community tackle the problem of misinformation? What I'm more worried about from disinformation is the personalized targeting for phishing attacks. We're entering a strange world where it's hard to differentiate between AI written and human written content. And hopefully we can help educate the public on spotting misinformation broadly. Andrew, this was great. Thank you for sharing your ideas with us here today. Thank you for having me.